That is your starting goaltender for tonight's uh, lacrosse game. Just celebra uh, celebrated his birthday on Sunday. That is Warren Hill. Some pretty nice numbers right there for a Hill, who in fact uh, stopped back-to-back -back penalty shots against the Lakers last Tuesday uh, in a rare occurrence. You don't see that every day, but uh, he's the starter. And down to our right is Landon Kells getting the nod. So both goaltenders looking for their seventh wins of the season here tonight at the Peterborough Memorial Center in front of a crowd of about 3,500 in here tonight. The, and the Chiefs win the opening draw here to get things going. Lyle Thompson shoots, he scores! Just like that, seven seconds into the lacrosse game. And we have ourselves a Six Nations lead in one of the quickest goals that I've ever seen. Seven seconds in. So you're basically spotting the visitors a goal before really getting underway. Let's take another look here. Quick shot, back of the net, Chiefs up by one. Well, we talk about Lakers. Here they come in transition. There's the pass, here's Katoni scores. It's a 1-1 game, Holden Katoni. Holden Katoni with his league leading 57th point of the season in what is just his 12th game of the year as he continues to light it up in the MSL for the Lakers. This one here, he gets in a little tight, nice dish, and then Katoni, who normally has that heavy outside shot, he just decides to come in towards the middle and just a little drop shot, half bounce through the legs. the Chiefs, Thompson making his way in. Backhand pass, another backhander, a fake, they score! The Chiefs have made it 2-1 on a power play goal. And a pretty nice one, too. Just three seconds left to go on the man advantage when the Chiefs tuck that one home. And you can see the good ball movement and then tiptoeing right at the top of the crease for that goal there. Nice effort staying out of the crease and also Tavares behind the bench. Always loves coming to Peterborough, loves leaving Peterborough with a with a win. And right now that's going to help a little bit for sure. Randy Stotts fooling a little bit. Kells with a beauty and it's the Chiefs now up by two. Although the entire lane in front of Kells just cleared, giving Randy Stotts a good look right through the lane. And you can see right there, everything just opens up and Stotts takes advantage. And that's an accurate shot to place it in that top corner like that. But when you give Stotts that much room, he's definitely going to wind. Here's a nifty pass. Katoni tried to feed it over here to McLaughlin. They couldn't connect. And up the floor they go, the Chiefs. Couple quick passes, shot, they score! Nice finish there, a nice breakout, and all finished off right there by Ty Logan. We'll see if they keep the game ball for him, because that's his first goal with the Six Nations Chiefs as Ty Logan playing in his 11th MSL game. Picks up the first goal and a nice one too. Little tic-tac-toe passing play and a good berry. A great berry for sure. And only eight seconds on their shot clock. They score! What a quick release right there by Thomas Hogar. The Buckhorn Bandit strikes and it's a 4-2 game. Nice look from Thomas Hogarth. The defender left him for just long enough that Hogarth was able to squeak in. And he decides to just go down low. We've seen a lot of magic coming from the stick. of Hazen. Hazen comes in. He's got that heavy shot. There it is. Goes a little high. Picked up quickly by Robinson. Shoots. He scores. Robinson on the power play. It's a 4-3 game. Nice power play marker from Robinson who picks up his seventh goal of the season. Doing it all himself, he circles around, sees that nobody is open, everybody is covered. He's the lone guy that didn't have a chief on him, so 
He just kept running towards that top and then buries it on the run. Yeah, he sees himself up on the TV. He's loving it right now as Evans with a fake back to Katoni. Got the big shot backhand pass. Evans another fake. Katoni might unload this time. No, there's the pass. Couple pumps, they score. Thomas Hogarth. This game's tied at four. That's a big goal from Hogarth. He draws the penalty. He's the reason why Fennell is in the box for four minutes. And then he gets the goal just 23 seconds into the ensuing man advantage. Turner Evans doing a good job, drawing some defenders his way. And then Holden Katoni, he spreads out the penalty kill just enough to give Hogarth another lane. Tony, swim move attempted by McLaughlin. Drops it, Katoni, shoot scores! Oh, what a cannon by Katoni. And for the first time tonight, the Lakers are out in front. Well, Holden Katoni with another goal. This one is trademark rocket. A blast from the outside, his fourth point of the game. It's Eli McLaughlin getting things going. He draws the defenders down low. And then Katoni, as soon as he caught that, you knew he was shooting. He got right into position. <laughs> was that right? Brandon Bomberry. And now Randy Stott's got a little room to shoot. Comes in, passes it off, couple fakes, they score! What a beauty right there, set up by Randy Stotts. Thompson finishes it off, and it's a 5-5 game. Well, that's going to stop the four-goal unanswered run that the Peterborough Lakers had. And we are tied up once again. A gritty effort at the top as Randy Stotts jumps over a defender, makes the dish to the side of the crease, and then Thompson who had the game's opening goal seven seconds in. He gets a diving one right here in the third, 107 into the period. Good friends, those two. For sure, just one of the best lacrosse players in the history of the game, and we get to see him right here. Hogar scores, goes right to the net, takes Hill down into the back of the cage, and the Lakers lead it six to five. And Hogarth, second of the night. Thomas Hogarth jogs back to the bench after that one. Made a bit of contact with Hill right after. It was kind of a broken play. And then things developed very quickly. And you can see the quick pass all the way the length of the floor. And Hogarth was just waiting at the other end at the top of the curve. Thompson looking for another one. He's got a little room, shoots, he scores! What a shot by Lyle Thompson. He's got himself another one here. That's the hat trick. Three goals and two assists for Thompson. He's got two this period. His first one, as we mentioned, came off the opening faceoff of this game, and then now he's got two in the third as this game just keeps going back and forth. A low scoring affair for these two powerhouse offenses. Not it up to good defensive effort. And someone's gonna have to scoop up this ball. Jordan Sturris is gonna take it. And he'll jog it up over the floor. You gotta track him down one night, Scott, if you can, because I, I wanna hear the story as we have a chance, they score! What a play right there by the Lakers. Eli McLaughlin. And the Peterborough Lakers make it 7-6. On the BC Natives. Go ahead, goal. That didn't take long for the Lakers to respond to that one. As Eli McLaughlin coming out of the corner with it. A little bit of an isolation play. Nobody anywhere near. And he's able to make the berry. A nice little selly after. Just never know. He hangs on to it. Now he passes it off of the back. And shot, they score! Bomberry! And it's 7-7 here at Lock and Lansdowne. 
Nice, solid overhead shot coming from Bomberry, and once again, the Chiefs able to respawn. This one, just 28 seconds after the Lakers' goal, and again, coming from that same side, we've seen Thompson score two goals from that. Some teams that have something to say about that. Here's Jamison. What a strip by Colton Armstrong. Armstrong coming in. Someone all alone. Twister scores. What a beauty. The former mayor of Montgomery Street, Colton Armstrong. And the Lakers lead at 8 7. What a play by Armstrong. He strips Cody Jamison. Jamison is his captain during the NLL season with the Halifax Thunderbirds, and Armstrong strips the ball, picks up speed, stays ahead of his defender, and is able to protect the ball. Arthur eventually gets it to McLaughlin, stripped of the ball, though, taking it away. Tyler Biles, here come the Chiefs. Biles coming in, there's a pass, here's the shot. Tyson Bell scores! And it's tied at eight with 5.46 to go in the third period. I don't even know how Tyson Bell found an opening. It looked like there was nothing to shoot at as he was right on the edge of the crease and somehow he found an opening. What looked to be the five hole, as David Brock comes over, gives him some bumps and you see the play develop and watch Bell. He's just left alone. And when you leave Tyson Bell alone, yeah, he's a D guy, he's a transition guy. He's not up on offense a lot, but you can't leave him alone like that. No, he still has some pretty good hands. Jackson has it. Over to Thompson. Thompson coming in. Shoots, he scores in overtime. It's over. Lyle Thompson opened the scoring. He finishes the scoring. Make it a 9-8 Six Nations Chiefs final here tonight. And this one isn't over yet. Officially, the game is over, but... We have some action after the buzzer here. Eric Schul right there, he gets face masked. Repeatedly. As jumping in is Brad Cree trying to get at Schul. David Brock, the veteran in there. Part-time lacrosse player, part-time window sales man. Overall good fella. And Robert Hope. So the Peterborough Lakers come up short, and it seems as though, Scott, mathematically, that's it, eh? Six Nations uh, wrapping up. That is it. Six place. Nations will finish in first place. They cannot be caught. They can be caught point-wise, but if they do end up tied with the Lakers point-wise, well, they now hold the season series three games to one with this third victory as we take a look at the goal, a nice little bouncer from Thompson, his fourth of the game and his sixth point. And we're still not done on the floor here. It's Eric Finnell right in the middle. He's upset at somebody. If this were 10 years ago, it would be an all-out brawl. It just shows how much things have changed. <laughs> Finnell playing the role of uh, kind of Billy D. Smith a little bit in terms of uh, trying to get Get the fans going a little bit here in Peterborough. Yeah, you're right. It's not over yet. This is uh, this, this still could be a, a tussle here if the right guys get at each other that are trying to get at each other. Well, last time we saw anything like this was a big brawl when St. Regis was in town. John Tavares was on that team. Mark Stainhouse was on that team. Everyone was fighting. This time here, though, cooler heads prevail as Finnell playing the role of the villain, and I don't mind that stuff. No, you know that, you I like that. That sets up a nice rivalry. That's why this rivalry is so good. He knows what he's doing. He's, you know, yeah, he, he's a character for sure. And you know, if, if Eric Finnell played for the Peterborough Lakers, I can tell you right now, the fans would love him. All right, we'll be back. It's a 9-8 final. Chiefs over the Lakers, right here on your TV.